So friends, boy did Donald Trump just tip his hand in a recent post, making it clear that he knows he's going to be criminally convicted at trial. Let's talk about that because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So friends, Donald Trump is nothing if not predictable. You can spot his lies, his disinformation, his propaganda a mile away. You know what he's doing when he says things like, they're not coming after me, they're coming after you. No, they are not coming after you. If they were, you would be indicted on 91 felony charges across multiple jurisdictions, both state and federal. They're not coming after you. The rule of law is coming for Donald Trump, for the crimes Donald Trump committed. But, you know, Donald Trump is forever using sort of a third graders approach with apologies to third graders. A third graders approach to duping, to deceiving, to fooling his supporters, his cult members, into believing one thing or another. And friends, it really is only the gullible who are fooled or the hateful who are willing to be fooled or people who are not capable of critical thinking or a fact-based assessment of information. These are the people that he's fooling. These are the people that fall for Donald Trump's lies. I mean, in a very real sense, it's a cult. And can I just add parenthetically that ordinarily when we see people fall prey to a cult, when we see people who for whatever reason are sucked into a dangerous situation, who become members of a cult who put themselves in harm's way, ordinarily we do what we can to try to help those folks, try to extract them from the danger in which they've put themselves. We try to help open their eyes. I know, I know it's hard, but I think that's something we have to keep working on. But Donald Trump's lies, his disinformation, his propaganda is usually pretty darn transparent. You know, you see exactly what he's doing with those lies and how he's trying to manipulate his base, his supporters, his cult. Well now, in a brand new Trump post, there is a great big tell. That tell is that Donald Trump now recognizes he's going to be convicted at trial and he's starting to soften the ground to try to have his supporters reject the criminal convictions once he's convicted at trial. Here is the new Donald Trump post. I'm going to read it one time and then we're going to circle back to what I think is the most important language that is signaling that this is a new tactic for Donald Trump. He knows he's going to be convicted and he's trying to prepare his supporters to reject those convictions. Why did American disaster Liz Cheney, who suffers from TDS, Trump derangement syndrome, and was defeated for Congress by the largest margin for a sitting congressman or congresswoman in the history of our country, illegally delete and destroy most of the evidence and related items from the January 6th Committee of Political Thugs and Misfits. This act of extreme sabotage makes it impossible for my lawyers to properly prepare for and present a proper defense of their client, me. All of the information on crazy Nancy Pelosi turning down 10,000 soldiers that I offered to guard the Capitol building and beyond is gone. The ridiculous deranged Jack Smith case on immunity, which 
the most respected legal minds in the country say I am fully entitled to is now completely compromised and should be thrown out and terminated just like the radical left lunatics did to the evidence. I'm sorry, friends, but I love how transparent Donald Trump is in that post. Let's go to the parts that he decides to capitalize, sending the signal to his supporters, to his cult members that uh, uh, these are the important words, the ones I've capitalized, pay special attention to those. Illegally delete and destroy most of the evidence. This act of extreme sabotage makes it impossible for my lawyers to properly prepare for and present a proper defense of their client, me, just like the radical left lunatics did to the evidence. You see what he's doing there, friends? He knows he's going to be convicted at trial and he's softening the ground for his supporters for his cult members to reject the convictions because in all caps, he's telling them that, oh, uh, crazy Liz Cheney um, deleted and destroyed all the evidence. Yeah, that's the ticket. The radical left thugs destroyed all the evidence that would have clearly shown. I did nothing wrong. I'm not guilty. I'm an innocent man. So friends, we'll have to see if Trump's supporters remain gullible enough to believe, once he's convicted, that it's not because the evidence proved his guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. It's not because he committed crimes against our country, against our democracy, against we the people, but because the radical left cabal of lunatics destroyed, deleted, secreted, did away with all of the evidence that would have proved he did nothing wrong. You know, friends, this is why I remain a proponent of cameras in the courtroom. If people had the opportunity to watch the trial, to see the evidence with their own eyes, to listen to the testimony of the dozens and dozens of Republican witnesses who will be called to testify and who will provide sharply incriminating evidence against Donald Trump because he will be convicted by a chorus of Republican voices. If they could see the evidence for themselves, maybe, maybe that would move the needle for at least some people. But at least for now, we will just continue to highlight the transparency of Donald Trump's lies, disinformation, his propaganda. We will explain what Donald Trump is truly trying to accomplish when he sends these missives out to his supporters, to his base, to his cult. He knows how they will receive it, right? He knows the message he's trying to send to them, reject the coming convictions. But we'll keep calling it out day after day until Donald Trump is ultimately convicted, imprisoned, and relegated to the dustbin of history, which is exactly where he belongs, because justice matters. Friends, as always, please stay safe, please stay tuned, and I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.